Thank you for your interest in GroovePacker. The purpose of GroovePacker is to make sure that your customers always get exactly what they order. GroovePacker catches pick pack errors before they go out the door, saving you massive amounts of time and money. GroovePacker is not an enterprise warehouse management suite or all-in-one that requires you to replace or reinvent your current workflow. Instead, we've created a streamlined quality tool that's easy for your team to begin using alongside your current system. Let's look at how the app is typically used. In most workflows, order items are picked from the warehouse and brought to a packing station, where GroovePacker displays the order items and verifies each product as it's packed. An alternative is to bring GroovePacker to the item. The most cost-effective way to do this is to use a Chromebook mounted on a pick cart. An iPad and a Bluetooth barcode scanner can be used in the same way. Items are picked, scanned, and placed right into the box or envelope they will ship in. Smaller items lend themselves to this approach since many orders can be packed before dropping of the packed orders. This method is occasionally used by warehouses that scan the bin as items are picked, instead of scanning the product itself. This may be done to avoid barcoding each item, but it does introduce an opportunity for human error, as items may not always be put away in the correct bin. Whether you choose to scan during picking or during packing, GroovePacker will be integrated in the same way. Let's run through the workflow from beginning to end. In most cases, orders are imported from various channels into an order manager, like Shipping Easy, ShipStation, or EcomDash. GroovePacker then imports all the orders from the order manager. The day's process begins in the order manager, where orders are reviewed and they can be held or modified based on customer requests. The packing slips may be printed all together or in batches, and a pick list is often printed for each batch. One important addition to the printing process is that the order number needs to be printed as a barcode on the packing slip, so it can later be used to queue orders for packing. You may need to modify the packing slip template in your order manager to add this. Shipping labels may be printed now based on estimated weights, or they can be printed after each order is packed and weighed, depending on your workflow. Once printing is complete, you'll just click Import Orders in GroovePacker, and the daily shipments will begin importing. Since orders that won't ship that day have already been removed from the daily shipments, each order that's imported will be scanned and shipped that day. Orders will be imported into GroovePacker based on a specific status, or based on tags added in bulk to selections of orders. For example, if you print your shipping labels in batches before packing orders, you can set GroovePacker to import only orders with the shipped status. If you pack before printing labels, you'll import unshipped orders. Usually, the pickers begin picking as the items begin importing into GroovePacker. Let's take a look at the scan and pack process. To begin, the picker or packer scans the order number from a packing slip in their batch. The order is displayed showing the items to be packed on the left. As the barcode of each item is scanned, it is moved from left to right, showing that it should now be in the box, and quantities are counted scan by scan to ensure accuracy. Incorrect scans give a buzzer sound and a big red X. <coughs> Items can be scanned in any sequence as long as they are a part of the order being packed. The packer cannot advance to the next order until all of the items have been scanned. Let's look at how different packing scenarios are addressed using a few scan and pack features. Notes can be added to specific orders in your order manager or in GroovePacker and displayed to the packer as reminders. Here, we're reminded to include a loyalty gift with the order. You can optionally require the packer to enter or scan a confirmation code to verify they've seen the note. It's also possible for the packer to attach a note to an order while it's being packed, and the note will be emailed to the designated admins. Unbarcoded items, or items with damaged or missing barcodes, can be scanned by clicking the SKU where it's displayed on the interface. While it's very handy, this feature has a potential to be abused, so we record these click scans differently and report them in the daily scanning report. It's also possible to disable this feature for all SKUs, most SKUs, or just specific SKUs. You can also have reminders or instructions display every time a particular product appears in an order. This makes it easy to train new hires, as instructions are right there when needed. Pre-counted quantities or case quantities can also be typed in manually. First, the item is verified by scanning its barcode. Then a trigger is scanned and the quantity is typed in. Multi-pack barcodes can be assigned to pre-packed quantities of items. This makes it very quick to scan a large number of items. For example, the packer could scan a pack of 50, a pack of 10, and a single item to verify 61 items with just three scans. 
If you sell kits or bundles, GroovePacker can prompt the packer to scan the kit parts rather than the kit itself. Kits can be set up in GroovePacker or imported in bulk with a CSV. You have full access to import CSV files with product and order data whenever you like, so it's easy to add or modify products or bring in orders from other systems that are not in your order manager. We can also specify special items that can be added to any order when they are scanned. This can be used to track inventory for gifts or for products where the decision on what will be shipped is made at the time of packing rather than by the customer. Lastly, we can record serial numbers or lot numbers for items, so you can easily track what was sent to whom and export that data to a CSV. After the last item in an order is scanned, the order is marked scanned and GroovePacker can perform various actions depending on your workflow. If your shipping labels were printed earlier, GroovePacker can ask for a scan of the shipping label to verify that the correct label is being added to the box. If your labels will be printed after packing by another team member, GroovePacker will get ready for the scan of the next packing slip. If a shipping label will be printed by the same user who packed the shipment, the standard workflow is to scan the packing slip in the order manager, which will display the order so the label for that order can be created. We also have integrations with some order managers which can display the order directly in the order manager to streamline the printing process. Now that the order has been scanned, we can see it now displays in the scanned orders list. If we open the order list, we can see the items we scanned. There is also a coupon that was set to be intangible and hidden from the packer since it did not need to be packed. This can be done manually or using a search string that identifies coupons automatically, as long as they include the string. For example, all Shopify discount codes begin with the word coupon, and this can be used to flag them as intangible. Looking at a product record, we can see that products in GroovePacker can have multiple SKUs and multiple barcodes for the same product. This makes it possible to sell a product under different SKUs in different marketplaces and still have them counted correctly. The Notes tab brings together all of the notes associated with the order, whether they were imported, added internally, or during the packing of the order. The last tab has a log of all activity with the order. If a customer reports that the incorrect item was shipped, you can see what was actually scanned in the activity log. Incorrect scans, click scans, and manually typed in quantities are all logged along with the time and date of each scan and the user who scanned it. If an exception is reported, you can record it, saving the details and associating it with the packing user. This affects the user's packing accuracy statistics. Our dashboard displays these packing statistics, making it easy to compare packers based on accuracy, speed, and items packed each day. This data can be exported to a CSV for further processing. And lastly, let's look at the daily scanning report. This email can be sent daily after packing is complete to give you a summary of the day's activities. Each order is shown along with the user who packed it. Click scans are shown as well as the time each order was completed. The summary at the top of the email shows the total number of orders imported for the day and the total number scanned. Glancing over the summary is a quick way to check that all orders are getting scanned each day as they should. Getting GroovePacker set up is not complicated. It usually takes less than a day to import your data and start scanning test orders. Once the products are loaded, we can import orders from your order manager and assist with any remaining configuration. I hope you found this demo helpful. If I missed anything, or if you have some questions specific to your process, you can contact us by emailing support at GroovePacker.com. If you would like to put together a call with your team, you can use the link below to schedule a time. If GroovePacker looks like a good fit, and you would like to explore a free trial, you can create an account from our pricing page. There is a one-time startup fee of $500, which covers account setup and support. The startup fee is fully refundable at any time during the 30-day trial.